Right, today we got the Super Cheap Auto Home Brand SC09 Wheel Filter. Just interchangeable with Z9 Ryko. This is the cheapest filter that you can buy. It's super cheap when they when nothing is on special. This is the cheapest. So it's about seven dollars forty. Fair bit of stuff written on the box. High grade media, spiral round core, silicon valve. So got a picture there of what the inside's meant to look like. It's be interesting to see how accurate that is. Some brands that it's interchangeable with. Manufactured for super cheap. Just be a basic looking thing. There's not actually anything on the filter apart from the part number there, and then the sticker, just like the paper sort of sticker, not a shiny plastic sort of one, with the installation instructions and picture. Total weight of the filter, 466, so not a bad weight. Uh, it's got a nice plastic cover over the end, keep all the bad stuff out, it's always good. Sometimes it keeps the people out as well. Well, so really standard gasket there. It doesn't sit very high off the top of the filter. And there's not a lot holding it in there either. But it is there. Doesn't particularly feel like the best quality rubber I've had a lot. Other ones feel a lot nicer than that. Fairly standard ink up, I suppose. We'll get it cut open and see what it's like on the inside. Alright, so we're going to cut open the base plate. A decent amount of holes there, it's pretty good. Sort of made out of two layers, the top folded over as well as the actual metal threads. It's four there, so that's decent. And there's some spots there's three, some spots there's four. It's not the heaviest. I don't really know what it but it's not as heavy as a lot of other base caps the same size. I got a, it says that it's a silicon any drain back there, certainly very flexible and soft. It is very thin compared to a lot of other rubber ones. It's rested on there. It's about 1.6, 1.7. Quite thin, that I suppose they do the job in terms of the ceiling on there. It's got a bit of fair bit of movement on there, but it does sit fairly nicely around the edge. And in terms of ceiling on there. It's a bit better than on the base. It's pretty nicely. The soft rubber silicon would allow it to do that pretty well. The little baby spring down the bottom. It's a little, little baby thin one. 
but it's there. At least it's not a bit of plate in a can. Feels like it's got a bit of. You're looking at about 0.6. It did tear very easily though, and even cutting it, and that was just caught with the snips and it just tore open. So, seems like it's there and it's got the thickness, but not great quality. And obviously, there's a bit of paint around the inside there. Pretty average. I mean, cans of this size have got to have a bit of, bit of stuff in there, I suppose. You now, the filter itself. Just to measure that and the weight. It's quite lightweight even though it's got 130 grams. This shiny metal. It's fairly uncommon. It's normally more of the matte colour. It does say something about the end caps. Coated end caps. So I don't know if that's zinc or what it is to stop a rusting but it's there a little real little baby you need drain back there I mean, bypass works just fine this top part this is very thin I don't know if you can see how thin that is that's a very thin and wide light. It's got the little locating tabs, which don't particularly do a lot. There's a lot of movement there, but we'll get this element cut out and inspect it a bit further. Alright, so I got all the media cut out. Come in at about a total of 2.5 meters. In terms of the width, you know, we're looking at about 92 mil. Put some under the microscope and have a look at that. All right, so looks pretty good under the microscope. There's a bit of a uh, that fibers look fairly coarse, but there's a fair amount in there, so I would say it's pretty good. There's no micron spec rating for this on the web, so I'm not quite sure what it's meant to be, but it's not the greatest, but it's still acceptable, I suppose, for fairly standard cellulose. So they got that there. It's got a crimp center tube, which so again, is this flimsy metal stuff. Center tube, yep, it's crimped solid steel, but very thin, again. I don't know if you can see how thin that is. But it's very thin, and I don't know if you can see around those holes, you can see where they haven't been really cut very nicely. You definitely wouldn't want any of those little bits on the inside coming out, but and the little valve. There's glue there, but once again, minimal amounts. And this is so thin, I feel like that could break pretty easily. So, overall, it's very interesting filter because it's got all the design elements. Of a really good solid filter. I mean, it's got coil springs, it's got silicon valve, it's got metal end caps, spiral wound, a nice base plate in that. But, I mean, the quality in the actual construction of those components is not where you would hope it would be. Like the wire on this spring is just tiny for the size of the filter that it is. It doesn't have much strength in it. This valve, yeah, it's silicon, but it is thin. Same with the tan. 
fits thin and it tore easily when cutting it open with all these little tears around the edges. The metal on this thing is just paper thin. Same with the center tube and that. And I mean, for the size of the filter, this canister, you could have made the center tube a bit smaller and put a bit more media in there, which I'm sure uh, filters that cost a few more dollars would do. I suppose we'll find out sometime. So I reckon when we look at no more name brand filters, they're going to have a bit more media in them. Yeah, so overall, on the box, they don't lie. It does have all this stuff in there, but the quality of that stuff is certainly questionable. I mean, uh, there's no manufacturing faults. There's no glue dripping or missing or broken bits or anything, but the materials that they used are certainly not what I would call high quality. So, on a budget... It's hard to say, they only really cost like $2 less than a name brand such as a Ryko, but or a Fleet Guard, we would see, I'll get some of those other brands and see what they're like compared to this, but good components and ideas, but and I just don't think the, the quality's there in the actual components.